1992, my laboratory discovered the structure of the yeast origins of DNA replication. We showed that uh, it was an unusual structure and that uh, transcription factors could activate um, the initiation of DNA replication. At the same time, we discovered one of the key proteins that starts the entire process of chromosome duplication, a protein we call the origin recognition complex. The discovery of this complex really set the stage for the discovery of many, many other proteins involved in the initiation of DNA replication and how that process is controlled. So in every cell of our body, we have about two meters of DNA divided into the 46 chromosomes. And the rate of replication of DNA by the machinery is such that unless it started at many different places, it would take months to duplicate the entire genome. But in fact, it only takes about eight hours. So you can imagine an enzymatic machinery, which we have helped discover, copying a molecules of DNA that are that long every minute of our lifetime. I think uh, the main thing we're being recognized for is really working out in molecular detail how our genomes are copied exactly once in every cell cycle. Our genomes use a, a divide and conquer approach to, to their replication. So replication actually begins from many, many sites along the genome. In a typical human cell, that's probably around 50,000 or 100,000 of these replication origins that get activated in each uh, cell cycle. And the challenge really was to try and understand how all of those replication origins can be used uh, exactly once in every cell cycle, but never used more than once. Because of course, if they were to reinitiate replication, you get a partial reduplication of your genome. So that was really the, the, the challenge. And so we've uh, invested a lot of time over the years in, in reconstituting this process of replication. We first built the, uh, the helicase onto DNA, and then we've been able to activate the helicase and build the entire replosome. I think that's had an important impact on uh, the field in terms of providing a tool for understanding how many of the processes that are coupled to DNA replication work. So I think the impact of the work that we've done is to help identify the entire machinery that replicates uh, the, the genomes of cells. This is really fundamental knowledge, but it can potentially uh, impact the understanding of new treatments of cancer. Many, in fact, current chemotherapies target enzymes or the process of DNA replication. And uh, these are fairly blunt instruments for cancer. And of course, the future is to identify much more surgically precise treatments that are not as toxic.